Hey guys, uh, hold on, give me a second, hold on. I, uh, I, uh, wanted to come on here to, uh, encourage somebody. I know, I know that... Out of all the things that you've been through in your short life, that it feels right now that you are going through the worst time that you have ever been through. Even from everything from your childhood, you feel like what you are going through now is just, just the last bit of anything that you can take. The non-stop crying, the the emotions, the uncontrollable emotions, the just having your mind going to, from to and fro, just every waking second. Whether it's from infidelity from someone else, whether it's whatever the case may be, take it as it as it comes, okay? I was reading Job last night and this morning, and Father God, let every word that comes off of my lips be that of the Holy Spirit, Father God, and not of myself, Father God. Let me decrease while you increase in me fully, Father God, in Jesus' mighty name I pray, amen. Um, I was reading Job last night and this morning, and while I was reading Job, I just come to realize some things, like how... Job's so-called friends were coming to him and telling him, oh, you should, maybe you should do this or, you know, do that or God is doing this because of this, you did this or whatever anybody has to, has to say. Job's friends, so-called friends, quote unquote, said that to him. Even his wife, even his wife tried to get him to curse God and die. Even his wife. Said something there. The devil can use anybody. The devil can use anybody to come against you. Okay. Moving on. Um. So where was I? Uh. Sorry. So all of these emotions and sorry, the bus. Everything that you're going through, right? I know I get tired of people telling me that, you know, and, and telling me to hold on and God's giving me, you know, we get tired of that. We do. We do. Hope deferred makes the heart sick, okay? We get tired of that. So we kind of stop believing a lightweight, just to be honest, to be totally transparent. We kind of stop. Our belief is up and down, right? So we ask Father God, help my unbelief, okay? That's why we pray that, Father God, I believe, help my unbelief. But this time around, even though that this feels like the worst, ooh, excuse me, I'm gonna come, cursed. <laughs> the worst freaking time of my life. Uh, it, no, it is. It is the worst time of my, it is the, very much the worst time of my life. Like the worst heartbreak I've ever had. Just everything, the worst, okay? But what does the word say? When we are weak, God is strong, right? Butterfly behind me. When we are weak, God is strong, right? And I've been feeling that strength. That's not my own. I've been feeling it. Okay, so I know it's there. Uh, and I don't know, it just feels that there's some resolve that has been added to me that is having me react differently than I would have in the past, if that makes sense. Okay, sorry guys, if I'm, if I'm losing you here. I found myself, yes, it still hurt. Yes, I still cry constantly. Yes, you know, 
pain is pain. Heartbreak is heartbreak. It, 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 it. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This is something the Holy Spirit said to me last night, okay? About about pain and heartbreak and emotions, feelings, okay? Feel those things, okay? Let them flow, let them, you know, run through you, okay? The pain, the anger, the hurt. Feel it. Let it run through you. Do not let it stay there. It's not a permanent resident okay it is a visitor do not let it stay there so i feel like the lord has added more resolve to us okay so the hurt this time around yes it hurts but i believe thank you holy spirit holy spirit said the bounce back will be instant instantaneous that's the difference the bounce back you're not going to suffer and in and, and, and this six month or a year, you know how it takes people to grieve sometimes? It takes people to years to grieve. But Holy Spirit is saying is we're not going to sit in that suffering, okay? Like I said in the other video, one of my other videos, the Father is speeding up the time, right? For the elect's sake, okay? So that me that too. The healing process, is, it's going to be sped up. Yes, we've already walked. We've walked through and are still going through our process with the Lord because it is a journey. It's not an overnight thing, but we have been through that fire. So the ones I'm talking to, we have been through that fire, okay? Been proven, been tried, been tested. And uh, proven, been tried, been tested. And the strain is over. That's what I mean to say. The strain is over. Okay, so it won't be that hard to to to, to move forward like it like it was in the past. Make sense? Okay. So, Lord, just wanted me to come on here and encourage you. Okay, because I'm going through the same thing that you're going through. This is, this is, I'm talking to like at least four people. At least four people I'm talking to right now. I'm going through the same thing you're going through right now. Right now, wait, this second. Wait. You're not the only one. You're not, you're not the only one. Okay? I love you guys. Stay encouraged, Romans 8, 28. We all know that God uses all things. See, the devil's trying to make me forget. All things work together for the good of them who love God and those who are called according to his purpose. See, there we go. Thank you, Holy Spirit. All right, I love you guys. I'll talk to you guys soon. All right, bye.